Tonight, about 200 local veterans are searching for a new way to see their doctor. The Emporia VA is set to close by June. KSNT News reporter Kelly Severi is live in Emporia to explain the move. Kelly? Brooke, Emporia has a rich history celebrating veterans. In fact, Veterans Day was founded in this very town. I spoke to the VA about why this clinic is going to shut down, and I also sat down with one local man who's concerned for his local vets. I live in Emporia, Kansas. I spent 10 years on active duty, in the, and I spent 20 years in the Army Reserves. John Sanderson served as a district judge for 18 years. One of the things I did after I retired was I drove patients to the VA hospitals in Topeka, Leavenworth, Kansas City, and occasionally in Wichita, but very seldom. So. The VA says they aren't reaching high enough use rates. The team at this clinic supports two others, and they are only in Emporia two days out of the week. That we determined that our veterans deserve quicker access to care. So in the event something would happen over the weekend or they would get sick uh, Monday through Wednesday uh, under the new VA Mission Act of 2018, those veterans that live in the Emporia and Lyon County community now have the opportunity to seek that care within their local community. But Sanderson is concerned about how people will find new service. You know, I've never been in that clinic when there was any extra chairs. The VA says they've considered the options in Emporia. And we determined that uh, they have a strong medical community within the Emporia area. So we really felt that was going to be a real benefit. Senator Jerry Moran will be in Emporia on March 30th to hold a town hall where he'll hear people's concerns about the switch up. Live in Emporia, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Kelly.